Hi, my name is Jason Weintraub, and I'm a product manager for one of Sony's integrated media solutions products called ELC, or Enhanced Life Control. ELC is Control Room Automation, and over the next few minutes, we'll be discussing some of its newest features and its benefits. Now let's take a look at a conventional news production. In a conventional news production, there are of course a lot of elements, things like Sony studio cameras, Sony's XVS switchers and studio monitors, as well as our ENG cameras. And the ENG cameras have their signals coming back over things like XDCam Air, microwave, or satellite. But also part of a conventional news production are the staff. A lot of newscast directors, technical directors, audio technicians, etc. That's where ELC comes in. ELC allows for full control room operation with as few as one operator. ELC controls our Sony switcher, audio consoles, camera robotics, graphic systems, playout servers, device control, lighting control, teleprompter control, and even router control. ELC allows for increased operational efficiency. It allows for increased production capabilities by allowing all those devices to be controlled by one particular command. It allows for increased programming without an increase to cost. That means that you can do more programming in your broadcast day without adding manpower. All that allows for reduced OPEX costs as you move into the future. We're also excited this year to demonstrate three different remote capabilities that ELC can keep you on the air. Our first one would be this example where you have two different television stations. Each has their own facilities with their own processing equipment of audio board, video switcher, playout servers, editing system, graphics, teleprompter, and directors. However, for whatever reason, no one is able to access the controls for ELC in station number one. With ELC, the remote directors operating at station number two have complete control over the facility at station number one. Another capability that we've added with ELC is the hub and spoke operations style of production, where two stations can have switchers and audio boards and their own graphic systems and editing platform. However, the directors can be centrally located in a control hub and any director can operate any newscast at any time of the day. This gives you tremendous flexibility to be able to have directors work on more than one show as now they can do a newscast on the East Coast, in Central Time Zone, Mountain Time Zone, as well as in the Pacific Time Zone, all within part of the normal workday. It also gives you tremendous flexibility with regards to breaking news coverage as the directors in your centralized control hub are available for any location or any market that has the need to get on the air quickly. Our third style of remote production with ELC allows for remote studio control. And we have a customer right now that has a remote studio located about 50 miles away from their broadcast operations facility. In that remote studio are the anchors, Sony's cameras, studio monitors, and lights. However, at the centralized production facility, they have the audio board, the teleprompter, the editing system, and the graphics, and the switching capability where the directors are operating. And through Sony's IP technology, we're able to completely make it a seamless transition. It's one core location. The beauty of it is that we can keep most of the people, most of the staffing, most of the resources at our main facility they're already at and do the studio in Milton, Delaware, which means we don't have to buy double the equipment. We can add on to existing infrastructure. We can do all the technical support, all the engineering in our main facilities and just have limited amount of people at the remote site. The efficiency provided by that model is flexible breaking news coverage because now those newscast directors can now control any studio that's within their station group. It also allows for increased operational efficiency as those newscast directors can work on more than one market worth of broadcast in a day. It provides for a higher production quality in all of the markets as the directors, those top skilled directors that you have, have the capability of creating multiple broadcasts within their day. There's less on-prem hardware at the remote studio facilities because there are no switchers and audio boards there, just the cameras and the anchors and the elements that require to be on site within the market. That allows for significantly reduced CapEx costs as well as less maintenance staff that has to be at that remote facility. 
I hope that this presentation has helped answer some of your questions about what ELC is and how it can benefit you, but I'd love to have a more focused follow-up presentation directly with you and answer your questions. Please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, this is Joe Walker from Crispin here to talk to you more about how we're helping transform the broadcast industry. First, I'd like to talk to you more about our Newswheel applications. Crispin continues to see an increased interest for Newswheel channel applications in the industry, and this is no surprise to us for several reasons. Our customers' viewers are finding it harder and harder to make a linear broadcast schedule fit their busy lives. They aren't always around for the 6 p.m. news, or often they simply can't wait. Instead, they rely upon on-demand types of news sources where they get the latest info they want when they want it. Now, utilizing Crispin's Newswheel in a 24-hour application, it's a great way to extend your newscast to multiple screens to provide this type of solution to your viewers. Newswheels also fit today's we brought it to you first mindset. And when your viewers learn they can depend on you anytime they want an update, they'll continue to go to you first every time. It's an efficient way for our customers to maximize their news production efforts. Being a simple, automated solution, it doesn't require a full production team, and it also allows for the reuse of news content created during your live newscasts. The concept of a news wheel is not new. However, combining the news rundown created from your news department and the traditional commercial playback schedule from your traffic department is. That's exactly what Crispin's News Wheel product can help you with. Crispin's News Wheel seamlessly combines traffic and news schedules into a single user interface for master control operations. Your traffic department simply schedules placeholders in the commercial playback schedule for news stories to fill in. So when your producers activate their news rundown, Crispin's News Wheel automatically inserts them into the correct playback locations to create a combined playlist for you. The MOS interface is fully compatible with all major news solutions, providing continuous updates to news control systems and your on-air playlist all in real time. This fully automated interface enhances the customer's 24-hour news channel operation for both OTA and OTT platforms. So with Newswheel combined with our OTT link, our customers are able to maximize their available news content, reaching viewers outside of their traditional over-the-air viewing area. Speaking of Crispin's OTT link, it provides an interface to a growing number of SCSI 35 and 104 inserters, providing scheduled data for downstream OTT systems to use when streaming your content. Examples of scheduled data that it provides include break start and end, break length, and program segment data. It does this by taking data straight from the Crispin playlist being executed, which provides the most accurate and up-to-the-second data possible. Other solutions may take a complete schedule from the beginning of the day, which, you know, it may be close, but it's never going to be the exact same thing as you have when you're actually taking all of that data straight from the playlist that is delivering this content to your viewers. When you have it this way, it's always going to be more up to date. If any changes are made throughout the day, substitutions, anything like that, or honestly, we all know that a basic traffic schedule when it first comes out to master control is never exactly what ends up airing. There are always changes that need to be made or tolerances that are adjusted, that sort of thing. So if you want a tight integration, uh, this, is, this is the way to get it. You're not going to get it any other way unless it's being driven right from that schedule. Now, this solution allows broadcasters to maximize monetization of content playback on multiple screens through dynamic ad insertion. If you look on the screen for a minute and you see that household that we have up, Notice how you see four different screens appearing as we speak. Now, as ATSC 3.0 becomes a reality, we could see multiple viewers in the same household watching the same program, but with different commercials all tailored to their interests. This is offering you new revenue opportunities. This is only possible with that accurate metadata in the video stream that OTT Link provides, just like I was describing. However, OTT Link is more than just ad insertion. It also provides regional and subscription-based data for blackout requirements for cable and satellite providers, uh, as well as any other tiered data or, or subscription data that you may need when you're offering different platforms, such as tablet viewing or smartphone viewing, things like that that you're offering for your customers today. All of these functions uh, require no additional user involvement, and OTT Link, combined with our master control and news solutions, provides sleep at night reliability for our customers. Now, in addition to shifts in the industry surrounding news and production, Crispin also recognizes master control operations are rapidly evolving. The need for flexible and fast solutions had never been more apparent. Crispin's core and loading dock product solutions provide support for your on-prem, VM, and cloud requirements with consolidated web UI user experiences called Core with Central Ops. 
This is providing us with a major jump in the ability for people to remotely control their systems. Obviously, this has become a very important thing for us all in this last few months. Uh, our world, as I've noted, is rapidly evolving in how we have to uh, you know, work with systems. Being web UIs, these solutions no longer are tied to dedicated workstations. They don't have to have dedicated software installed on them, uh, limiting where you can control your systems. With a basic web UI, now you can actually control a system from anywhere that you have access to it. Naturally, you're probably thinking when I say that, that there are other things you now need to consider. If it's that easy to get into your system, then how do you make sure that only the right people have it? And that's where our actual additional features come into play as well too. So our new core central ops is more than just a traditional Rapid Play X and System 2000 replacement from Crispin. It also provides a lot of additional new functionality, including, as I was just hinting at, uh, logins. So now it, nobody can get into your system unless they have a specific uh, credential that you provided for them. And even though a master control operator can log into the system, there's more to it than just that as well too. There are permission levels for them so that a master control operator with the right credentials can of course control the playlist as they need to, but they can't get into all of your system settings and that sort of thing like you could have in the past with legacy systems. So now only people with admin level rights can do things like uh, add users or change configurations of what playlists are, where they're laid out, all of that sort of thing. So don't worry, even though we're giving you so much additional flexibility in where you can control your system, we're still keeping it tight and secure, which obviously is important. We're also introducing a new core timeline view to allow users to easily monitor multiple channels at a high level or zoom into a given channel all the way down to a specific event. If you need to edit an event from this view, you can simply launch an event edit window, which is just like our WebRPX, so people don't have to learn two user interfaces, in other words. And if you need to go deeper, you can also launch a WebRPX workspace for a selected channel if you need to gain access to that complete list. On the ingest side of master control operations, Crispin's loading dock has been relied upon by large station groups to centralize content acquisition, prep, and distribution workflows for over five years now. Now, again, all of this, as I had mentioned before, is extremely flexible in where you could have it, either in an on-prem, a VM, or even a cloud-based solution. The system can evolve with you as your operations change as well, too. So you don't need to worry about the fact that today you may be on-prem, and tomorrow you may want, to, may want to move to something else, either, again, a VM or a cloud solution. The same new product that we're offering with the powerful web UI can, can grow with you in that, so you can have comfort in that. And lastly, even though this is a new solution from Crispin, it's backed by our 20 years of third-party interface experience. We're not new to broadcast, as you know. This year, we're very excited to announce a joint POC between Sony Crispin, WGBH, and AWS Elemental for our PMM customers. Now, PMM is not new to the benefits of cloud solutions. It's countered on Sony's C Media Solutions as the backbone for content delivery to numerous PBS stations for several years now. Traditionally in these systems, Crispin takes that delivered content and automates playback of proven on-prem equipment for a robust hybrid solution. However, in this new POC, we're utilizing AWS Elemental's MediaLive, along with Crispin's new core platform we just talked about. All workflows from media ingest and prep to video clip and live playback run completely in the cloud. This is not only gonna provide even more efficiencies gained by no longer needing heavy iron installations, our new cloud native product solutions also allow end users to utilize redundancy models and other benefits that cloud platforms offer that you just can't get from a traditional on-prem system. Along with cloud-based playback, our loading dock with Farlink leverages Sony's powerful C media platform and various workflows to locate, prep, and deliver playback video content to the system. And with this, we're very excited to provide even more flexible solutions to meet our customers' ever-evolving needs as we're transforming your master control and broadcast operations. Thank you very much.